All right, so where 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 would you put this, Al? Um, the wild thornberries. I remember watching this growing up, so a bit of a nostalgia factor to it. Mainly all of these. I I don't think it's you know I would put it like a solid B tier. It's probably gonna go lower in B, but let's just like right now I'll put it in B. SpongeBob. You already know where this is going. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, okay. See, here's the thing. Here's okay, the thing. okay. Okay. Bob. I don't disagree. It's just that I am just like, okay, are we talking about the first maybe like three or four seasons or are yes. we talking about the entire season as a okay. whole? Well? Because definitely when it comes to like the first couple seasons, mm -hmm. I could definitely put it A tier at the lowest, at the possible lowest. Because mm -hmm. everything before the first movie was what the original creator intended because the series mm -hmm. was supposed to end. But, after the movie, you know, yeah, yeah. After the first movie, mm -hmm. but like I, I know there's like some stuff that's like you know halfway decent. After that, it's just that my parents didn't allow SpongeBob in the house after that, so yeah. it's not like mm -hmm. I was watching too much after that first movie. Yeah. I did watch the second movie, which was enjoyable in its own right. I hadn't touched the third one, but for the most part, seasons one through three, hell, I still have a VHS of first couple episodes so i i could say s tier rocket power okay so this this is an interesting one this is also one of those ones where um if it was on i would definitely watch it uh it was one of those that came on a little later in the evening if that makes sense or like really early in the morning rocket power because like with some nicktoon shows had priorities over others so like with some you would transition them to nicktoons and they would be on around like what four or five six o'clock rocket power i know for sure was definitely on consistently like late at night like 11 12 like 1 a.m and stuff like that so it's i i would put it in the same boat as the wild thornberries because it, it definitely was a, a great series it's just not really as memorable as the rest of them on the list if that makes sense I have no arguments only because it's kind of the same argument with the Wild Thor mm -hmm. I remember the show being on. I don't remember watching the show because I can't recall any episodes. But they did happen to have a movie that I remember vividly. And I did enjoy that. So I think B tier is just fine. Yeah. I'm going to hope that that's not going to be the case for most of this list. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trust me. Uh, and again, we'll change it as we go along. But I think this is going pretty well uh, so far. Um as told by Ginger, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I may have watched one, maybe two episodes of this, and then after that, I would, I really didn't watch it. What about you? I have not watched this show. I think I was aware of its existence, but I didn't watch it. Mm -hmm. And even if I would decide to, I, I wouldn't decide to watch it now, because like, the style of the show is just really off yeah. to me. Yeah, I mean, I would put this as, like, really not watch. Not necessarily saying it's bad, it's just, you know, I haven't really watched it all the way through. So yeah, it's, not, really it's not It's not something we could accurately put in the mm -hmm. if you didn't see it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, it, okay, it's in so the same like, boat. <laughs> exactly the same boat, so we're also going to have to put SpongeBob. We're going to adjust SpongeBob later. But we'll adjust it later, yeah. I think it was seasons, like, one through four. Five, maybe. Vader Zim. This show was freaking hilarious, bro. <laughs> Invader Zim. I think this might have been like at least so far. This was the weirdest show that I've watched. Oh yeah, this, I watched this, this all the way through, and I can tell you this show is definitely a tier. But what do you think? Well, okay. First off, I just want to ask: like, do you remember there being more than one season of the show? I think it was two. I don't, I don't know. know As certain. episodes came on, man, because like after a while, I just started streaming this stuff. So for me, it was just like I would see the episodes and be like, all right, cool. I would just see it all as one big timeline of episodes. You know what I'm saying? So as far as the okay. exact seasons, no. But I do remember the first and the very final episode for sure. What? This, Jimmy Neutron. All around, can no lower say. than eight tier. No lower than eight tier. <laughs> no lower. I that Jimmy Neutron was goaded. The whole premise of the show remained consistent. I think it had what three seasons. 
Yeah, three. It had three seasons, and it actually like came to a finish. It came to a finish that made sense. (laughs) Conclusion. It was perfect. I was just like, oh yeah, we got this. Like this, right here. (laughs) At the time, was my my favorite show on Nicktoons for sure. Favorite show on Nickelodeon. Honestly, the fact that you put it next to Fairly Odd Parents is poetic. Yeah. Because of the crossovers. Yeah. And they, they apparently they were so good that they made three of them. So clearly yeah. it deserves. No, that. all three of those Power Hour crossovers, Zimmy Table Power Hour, bangers. Bangers for sure. Now, all three just of them. like one little side note about those. Mm-hmm. So probably within the past, like maybe six or seven years, I watched all three of them back to back to back. And it is slightly misleading that they're called Power Hours because they're really only like 40 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, these are really short. Yeah. (laughs) Because I didn't have to sit through commercials for them. But like, um, I think because when I was younger, my the third one was my favorite. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm a little bit older, I think because I actually didn't like the second one that much when I was younger, but I did Mm -hmm. like it regardless. The first and the third one were definitely goaded. I think. I think now that I'm older, I still like appreciate the first one because mm-hmm. they were doing the most. They were doing the most with like the characters are like fight, figuring stuff out and they're making jokes about other their other universes. Yeah. So like I think maybe just by like a tick, the first one is better by th- than the third one. But yeah. not to say that any of them are bad by any means. All grown up. Um, I believe you said that you think uh, this is better than Rugrats. I think yes. I'm okay. a firm believer in saying that this is better than Rugrat because right. I feel like every character that was there in Rugrats they 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 split off the characters in Rugrats by the adults in the show and mm-hmm. then by the kids in the show and I get that's the point that's fine good whatever but it's like the whole point of the show is like oh the parents don't realize what these kids are doing and the only kids and the only people that understand what both the adults and the kids are doing at the same time roughly are the kids that were big enough to speak, Angelica and Susie. But by the time mm-hmm. you get to all grown up, everybody's able to speak and understand each other, including Dill, uh, the little brother. I also remember the movie, but they only made movies for Rugrats, not for all grown up. But I, mm-hmm. I think just due to like my age being closer with the age of the characters and all grown up, I think I just appreciated those more. Mm-hmm. It was so more I, uh, relatable. Yeah, I can appreciate that for sure. So I'm definitely going to put this right here. All right. My life is a teenage robot. That is going no lower than A tier. Yeah. I, yeah, there's no way. First of all, the fights in this one were crazy. The different villains and stuff like, I was just like, yo, this show is really cool. That is, there's no explanation needed. A tier. All right, Doug. Do you remember Doug? Again, this is one of those where I've watched watch maybe it. like one episode of and never really looked into it. Yeah, like you might as well just put it in not watched because I didn't mm-hmm. watch it enough to be able to say Yeah, anything. Danny Phantom. I think this is the – I think Danny Phantom is the most recent Nicktoon that I've watched all the way through, I think. Mm-hmm. It might be. It's either that or Avatar. But, um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's definitely solid enough. I think if there's, like, any, like, for real nitpick, it's just, like, with everybody, like, it ended. It's one of those shows that kind of, like, ended a bit too soon mm-hmm. for its own good. Because it was picking up a lot of stuff, picking up a lot of steam. And then uh, Nick just didn't want it to run anymore. Yeah, but, that out the way. Avatar. S tier. Easily S tier. That's, like... a. That's like the most near perfect series that's here. My mm-hmm. only gripe with this show is that they didn't use Suki more, but they used her a lot in the third season, and the third season is my favorite season by far. Mm-hmm. So there's yeah. that. Yep. No nit. Cat scratch. You know what? I enjoyed this one. You know, I I think it's a solid B tier. Actually, never had watched a full episode. Really? So I'll, I'll just let you take that one. I'll, 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 I'm telling you right now, this joint was definitely a solid B tier. I liked Cat Stretch. All right. I don't know what this is. Is that? Uh, I, I, I think I've... 
Okay, I've seen those characters before, but I haven't seen the show. I thought it was the Secret Saturdays, but I'm thinking that might be a. Um, oh, that's that's a Cartoon Network. Network. Cartoon Network. Yeah, Secret Saturdays. Yeah, Cartoon yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So I'm gonna put this here. Not watch El Tigre. Ever watched it? So I'm gonna let you take that one. <sighs> Definitely a tier. There's no need to explain that. That show was fire. Look at the barnyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better put that in A tier. <laughs> Back at the bar. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you, this show was funny. I I don't care what anyone else says, bro. Back at the barnyard is goaded. Mighty B. I vaguely remember this show, but I can tell you it was it was probably C or C or B. C or bottom of B. It's like, yeah, I mean I I remember the show coming on. I don't remember actively watching the show. If anything, I might have watched some of an episode, like maybe like one of the eleven minute segments. So I don't I don't have an opinion. Yeah, I, I would say I'll put it in C for now. You know what's interesting? Planet Sheen, by far the worst series in this entire list. I don't care what anyone else says. Freaking hated that show. Anyway, making fiend. Uh, yeah, this is also I'll put it. I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad. It definitely remained consistent throughout the entirety of his lifespan. So I'm just going to leave it here. It wasn't bad. On a, yeah, just based off of that premise, I don't even know if I would have bothered to watch that as a kid. So. Yeah, it's just like, it's one of, it was so random to me, but I would watch it anyway because I was just trying to see, okay, what monster would she create now? Penguins of Madagascar. No lower than B tier for certain. Oh, yeah. Because this is that weird time. This is that really weird time where, like, DreamWorks would make movies, mm -hmm. and then they'd have shows right on Nickelodeon, mm -hmm. but those shows, as we're probably going to see later. But, like, I I definitely like the show, though. I do remember actively watching this show. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't think – I don't really think there was much that I didn't like. I just don't think it – Um, I just don't think it hits as hard. Yeah. But yeah, like, lowest B tier – the lowest it should be is at B tier. Yeah. Like, I – Personally, I think it could be A tier. I think it is. Um, Rugrats. This is no lower than B tier. So we're going to put it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to put it right below here. Here, I think this is decent. It was short-lived, but I do think. Very short-lived. I think after. So I think the first. I think it got two seasons. Yeah, the first season was okay the next season i was like i don't care kung fu panda legends of awesomeness initially i was excited yeah so initially i was excited about this series however however it got very repetitive and that's all i'm gonna say about that and more so annoying i definitely think it was better than tough puppy and Penguins of Madagascar. But I don't think it's better than Rocket Power Thorn. I don't know. Nah. Alright. Legends of Korra. <sighs> this is going to be a very touchy subject. I know someone in the comments. This is going to be a very touchy subject here. Hey. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll speak my piece on this. So. If we're going to go by season. Mm-hmm. If we're going to buy qual okay, if I'm going to go by quality of seasons, three, one, four, then two, last. And really, it's only like half of two that I really don't like or really don't care to bother with. Because I remember re-watching this series in 2020 and I realized, oh shoot, there's a lot of season two that I don't remember because I must have skipped it. Mm -hmm. So my thing about Korra is that I like most of the show. I think season one is an absolute perfect sequel to The Last Airbender. Season three had the highest stakes. Of course, most people don't like season two because of... What's, it, what's his name? Tarlac? Tarlac or something? I don't know. Yeah. Some spirit bender? No, no, no. Tarlac, Tarlac, Tarlac was uh, season one. Season uh, one? I'm thinking of Unalak. Unalak. Unalak, okay. Was there was a lot of locks, so I'm just trying to remember. Starlock, yeah, Unalak. The, the dark Avatar stuff... Uh, when like he the started, Dark Avatar stuff was a nice idea, but it was just dumb. We enjoyed this series. Mm -hmm. I only watched up to season, the end of season four, because season five was doing a lot of stupid stuff. So this I know definitely is going high in eight here. 
one. Oh, if for not sure. S. Yeah, I. Yeah, I would have to. I would have to put it as, bro. There's some scenes I'll, in here. I was just like, yo. Honest, the first, the first, and like, we did the first three. I don't remember because I haven't watched the show like completely in a minute. But I know at one point I held. Of. Um, it was okay. There were moments where it was kind of enjoyable. I'll put it in C. It wasn't terrible. Only because I saw one episode and I liked the episode that I watched. And I don't think it was a full episode. I think because mm -hmm. this is probably another show where they have like 11 minute segments. Yeah. So from that, I liked what I saw, but I don't have, I don't, I don't have enough of the show to be able to be able to put it anywhere yeah. accurately. The show as a premise wasn't terrible. All right. It was okay. A lot of people are just like, this show's garbage. No, it's not bad. It's pretty popular too. So I would actually put it at the top of C. Because I've watched these both here, and they, they were okay. So, it wasn't terrible, but I'm not putting it any higher than C. So, honestly, though, I kind of want to put Fanboy and Chum Chum a little higher. Here's here's why. I, I just feel like... Okay. The, the, the animation style is trash and deplorable, but, I mean, it was funny. It was a pretty good story wise. It was it was okay. I, I guess. didn't like the show, but this is your list, so Yeah. I mean I'm good with either putting it in both of these. Actually let's just leave it back in D. I don't think it was as that bad as people are making out to be. It's definitely better than this atrocity. <laughs> and that's saying I just something. Remember Fanboy and Chum Chum just coming off as annoying. That's it. Yeah. Man yeah. Sheen just came off as just like a rip off. Oh. Unnecessary. Very unnecessary. Yeah. A like, rip off, very like unnecessary. Like, oh. like I think Planet Sheen to Planet Sheen's own detriment. Why is there a character that is basically Carl, just not Carl in name? Mm. They were basically making a, a bootleg version of Jimmy Neutron just with it Sheen as the main protagonist. And I feel like I Sheen as a so Sheen as a character in Jimmy Neutron was like arguably one of my favorite characters in the entire series. Sheen as his own character, his own show, it just do doesn't work because Sheen and Jimmy Neutron, the way his character worked is to counteract everything that the main character is, which is a genius. That his stupid Here's comments, him being funny, yeah. doing all this stuff, it was made to perfectly balance out Jimmy. Because let's be honest, if he had a show. Like Jimmy Neutron, with no comedic relief at all, that show would be boring. But I feel like Carl and Sheen created that balance where it's just like, oh, okay, cool. And just kind of added to the character a little bit. Whereas Sheen by itself with just stupidness and nothing to counteract it, it's just a dumb series. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. Here's the thing. I think if Sheen as a character was written by the same people that wrote him in the give me timmy power hour things i'd be much more entertained watching him in that kind of setting than here by himself in space with not carl the alien so there's that but we don't have to talk too much about planet Sheen. yeah so yeah what this this new um ninja turtles i have not watched it have you okay i've watched a few episodes and I also watched the movie that came out on Netflix. I think it was last year. So I know the movie was really good. I don't know if I really cared about the episodes that I watched, though. Because, like, I know it gets good much later into the series. Because it only, only had two episodes, uh, two seasons, excuse me. But the series just felt so, like, disconnected from each episode to where... One, it felt disconnected between episodes. Two, they weren't doing a lot of stuff that was, like, worthwhile or important. Because, you know, because, like, this is one of those shows that kind of, like, has a story, but it feels like filler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, eh, it could, like, from what I've seen, and because that's all I've seen and I haven't seen the whole show, I would put it in C tier personally. That's only because I haven't seen everything that it has. Yeah. Oh hell no! Hey, hey, wrong, hey, one. Well, wrong one! I was looking. I was like, oh no! Oh, we're talking about 2018. 
<laughs> okay, Rocco's Modern Life. <sighs> I've heard I don't of know if you watched this. I have not watched it. I've watched a bit of it. How was it? I don't remember a lot of it, but from what I can remember, I do remember this is like a very like simple and for the most part wholesome kind of show. So I'd put it in B tier. All right, but we'll put it in B. So watch this. This show right here is actually just Loud House, but not Loud House. It's literally the exact same premise. Cas Casa Grande. Oh, like I've definitely seen that character. Before. Yeah, that definitely she like was literally in this, but then they decided to branch her off and give her her own spinoff series. So it's literally the exact same concept. Like, there's no difference between these two series. Hey, Arnold, this joint is going in A tier. I don't care what anyone I'm else says. The top of A tier. Yeah, that joint. Yeah. Hey, Arnold, it's going A tier. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. All right, Angry Beavers. I found I them quite funny. Movie. So, I do remember. I do remember this show a bit because this is another like uh, Nickelodeon Netflix experience shows. So I do remember liking the show. Really short though, but it was funny. So I put it in B tier. B. Oh, say less. All right, cat dog. I think this is B tier or higher. Might even be A tier because it's cat dog. Because of what I can remember, because this is another case of the show though I do actively remember watching this show. I just can't recall an episode for the life of me. B tier. Mm. B tier for the sake of that. <laughs> I I honestly think it's second. Next Invader Zoom. Cat dog was great. I don't think anything in B tier is better than Invader Zim, though. Me personally. He's like the gatekeeper. I have never seen this glitch. I liked the, f the three episodes that I watched. Okay. And I, so I, what I, do you think, I think about this it? Is, I think this is... Uh, if I'm thinking correctly. I think this is... I think this was released exclusively on Netflix. I'm not sure. I probably just have it on Paramount Plus now, but I liked what it's. Uh, I like what it had. They're basically. How do I say this? Um, think Ghostbusters, but like the Ghostbusters are gamers, and they're fighting like video game glitches that pop out into the real world. Okay, so you would put it B tier. What, where are we putting? From that? what I can remember, I could say B tier easily because I do enjoy the characters. All right, I don't know what this is. Didn't watch. Didn't watch. Didn't watch. All right, and that's the new. The new. I said I didn't watch that. So yeah, let's go back and look it up here real quick. Mm, I have no complaints. Wait. Yeah, a lot of people are probably going to give me a lot of flack for this, for not putting Danny Phantom in S tier. I just didn't like the way it ended, and it ended kind of on a, a cliffhanger. So we're not going to... Or it didn't end the way I envisioned it would, or most people envisioned it would. Uh, Yeah, so I'm not... And, you know, I guess that's not, like, a, a valid as far as just, like, with the ending. But I don't know. By the way this the series was going near the end, I definitely enjoyed it. But I don't know, really know where to put Danny Phantom. Because it's one of those series where it's just, like, I don't know. I just liked the ones up there way more. And I feel like S tier should just be, like, top five, to be honest. Yeah, I can definitely agree on the sense of like the the, um, the ending kind of like knocks it down a peg, but not to a point to where like the show was bad. For oh, the show was no. not bad at all. Like, I think the, like, the ending that they came up with, because this is just a case. This is just a case of a. Uh, I don't. I don't necessarily think this was canceled because they they actually did try to come up with an ending for the show. They made an end for it. It's just that you can tell that it ended it a little too soon. Yeah. So, like, it, it had breathing room. It just didn't get enough of that time, you know, to mm -hmm. marinate. Yeah, which is why I don't well, think I it's think, S tier. 
but I think it could like le legitimately just be the bottom of S, S tier. You know what? We'll do that. And then, hey, Arnold is definitely the top of A. Zim is definitely top of B. Yeah. And then so on. <sighs> we'll just do S, A, and B. Everything else, I could care less. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, any final thoughts, Al? Um... Not too much. I just think that some of my bias is because I watched the movies, not counting the DreamWorks shows. Uh, I watched the movies, and I remember the movies a bit more than the series. So I hope that's not affecting anything too much. But I think I think we're good. All right, cool, cool. I just want to point out that Monsters vs. Aliens is in no way any higher than this. And though some people desperately tried to argue that this series was above because like i was looking at some of the reviews for it and some people swear they were like oh yeah this show was actually not that bad you know when you look, i was like this was absolutely terrible i don't, I don't know who. the movie was absolutely terrible so i don't know who was really promoting this but to each their own i guess <laughs> this series i'm disappointed in for sure because it, it had potential, and then they just kind of was all like, yeah, we don't care anymore. But hopefully, they'll redeem themselves with Kung Fu Panda 4. That is a wrap. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below whether this tier list is a W or an L. Let me know what your thoughts on it. And yeah, I'll catch y'all next time.